welcome uh, the topic today is statistics and in this video we will learn about how to calculate median mean variance and standard deviation of a given data and for this case we have a grouped data so the question reads in an agricultural center the length of a sample of 50 maize cobs were measured and recorded as shown in the table below so we have the lengths in centimeters between 8 and 10 we have 4 between 11 and 13 we have 7 and so on as shown in the table so the question uh, requires us to use the data above to estimate uh, so the first part we have median so sorry this is data so we are required to use the data above to calculate the median so the first thing to do is to identify the formula for calculating median over group data so we have m for median is equal to the lower class limit of the median class plus the number of items divided by 2 minus the cumulative frequency just above the median class all over the frequency for the median class times the class interval of the median class so from there we are supposed to generate a frequency distribution table so we have the table as shown so we have got the class and in the class between 8 and 10 we have a frequency of 4 between 11 and 13 we have 7 14 and 16 11 17 and 19 we have 15 and between 20 and 22 we have 8 23 and 25 finally we have 5 so according to the formula so we'll be moving stepwise so let your formula guide you on what to include in the table so we need a column for cumulative frequency so in order to work out this so we'll have cumulative frequencies here we have 4 11 22 27 or rather this is 37 uh, from there we have 45 and then finally 50 so with this we can pause for a while and answer part A of the question so the median will be obtained by simply substituting the values so first of all we need to know the median class so the median class lies in the middle of 50 items and that is 25th so at the 25th position we have the median so you simply take the total number of items which is 50 divided by 2 and that gives us the position of the median class or rather the median value so median m is equal to the lower class limit of the median class so at the 25th position if you begin right from here we have 4 4 is less than 25 11 still less 22 is less so 25th must be lying in this particular class so we pick everything right at that point and use it as instructed by the formula so the lower class limit here will be 17 minus 0 0.5 so we have that is 16.5 plus and then n over 2 here is just what we obtained here which is 25 so that is 
n for 50, 50 divided by 2, that is 25, minus the cumulative frequency just above the median class, so that is 22, so we subtract 22, and then we'll have to divide that by the frequency of the median class, and that is 15, and finally the class interval, which is the lower class limit, the difference between the lower class limit and the upper class limit, that is 19.5 minus 17.5, rather 19.5 minus 16.5, and that should give us 3. So, doing our calculation, we'll have 16.5 plus, so 3 goes here once, 3 goes here 5, and that is 3, so we have plus 3 over 5, and finally, we should get 17.1. So that is for the median. Next we move to the mean. Now, just like we did earlier on, mean is obtained by simply getting the summation of fx all over summation of f. So in our table, we still do not have x and x here should represent the midpoint for the classes, so we have between 8 and 10, the midpoint is 9, the next class we have 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. So once that is done, we can now get fx, fx is the product of f and x. So 4 by 9, that is 36, then we also have 7 by 12, we have 84, 11 by 15, that should give us 165, 15 by 18, that is 270, 8 by 21, that should give us uh, 100. And 68 then finally 5 by 24 that should give us 120 so once we're done with fx we get the summation down here when we add we will have 843 remember the summation of the frequencies f that should give us 50 we should always uh, be the same as the value, the last value that we get on the cumulative frequencies. So we have 50 right there. So that means substituting the values we obtained from the table will have the mean calculated as summation of fx is right here, 843, divided by summation of f, and that is 50, and this should give us 16.86. So that is for the mean. Next, part C, we have to work out the variance. And in order to work out the variance, first of all, let's take the formulas. We have variance is S squared we should be given a summation of f x squared over summation of f minus summation of f x over summation of f squared. So what is lacking in the table is a column for x squared and f x squared. So that is what we need to add and then we'll be good to go. So uh, the column for x squared, so let me extend that, so we have x squared, so we have 9 squared, that is 81, the values of x are in this column, so we square them, here we have 144, 225, 324, 
21 squared that is 441 and finally 24 squared 576 the next thing is to get fx squared according to this so we need fx squared so that means we multiply f by x squared so in the table we will have f by x squared so 4 by 81 that should give us so here we have fx squared 4 by 81 that is 324 7 by 144 that should give us 1008 11 by 225 that should give us 24 75 then we have 15 by 324 that should give us 48 60 8 by 441 that should give us 35 28 and then 5 by 576 so when this column is summed up uh, from your calculators if you add these values down we'll have 15,075 so with that we can now do our substitutions in the formula so in the formula we have summation of fx squared over summation of f so the summation of fx squared is right here the sum of all this which is 15,075 so we have 15,075 all over summation of f which is still right here which is 50 so let's divide it by 50 and then we subtract uh, summation of fx over summation of f that is 843 over 50 squared this means the variance is 15,075 divided by 50 should give us uh, 301.5 minus 843 divided by 50 and then we square so remember for this part we, that is the mean which was 16.86 when it is squared we get 284.25 Getting the difference, we will have 17.2404, which is approximately 17.24. That is when it is rounded off to four significant figures. Okay, so that is for the variance. Finally, we are going to look at the standard deviation. So for standard deviation, standard deviation is usually just the square root of variance. So already we've gotten the value of the variance right up here. So next is just to substitute it here. So we have the square root of the variance and that is the square root of 17.2404 and this should give us 4.1522 which is approximately 4.152 that is to four significant figures so that is it for this question Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. See you next time.